So you have these great products competing like crazy online, and they don't have any access to radio and TV because it's viewed as, eh, that's old school stuff. So a couple years, so using that as a, as a thought, a couple years ago, or not a couple years, about a year ago, guys came in, had this product that was, uh, they're selling cyber safety. And they're competing like crazy with a bunch of people in the product, and the company's like six years old. And uh, they're like, hey, we've got this great product that makes your computer safe and this and that. And, and they said, we want to go on TV and radio, would you help us? And I said, well, what do you want to sell? They go, well, safety. I'm like, you know, if you think about it, if you're watching TV, and someone says, there's a virus on your computer. You know, you're going to flip the channel, right? I mean, you didn't watch TV to shop, right? You watch TV to entertain yourself. So if some guy gets on TV and starts scaring the hell out of you with, you know, problems, phew, switch channel. I mean, I can't switch a channel fast enough. I mean, when I'm watching TV and I'm relaxing, I want, I want you know, someone to meet my needs. You know, in, in our business, it's need, greed, vanity. But, you know, I want someone to meet my needs. So I'm looking at this guy saying, I can't sell that. And then all of a sudden, you know what? If you make my computer safer, can you make it faster? He goes, oh yeah. So I said, well get back to me, show me proof of that. And he came back and showed it. And I said, and we changed the name to the company and we call it Double My Speed. And so we registered doublemyspeed.com. So here's a seven year old business that's just been competing like maniacs online. And this is a year ago. It's now a, a $1 million in, I mean they lost 30 million bucks over seven years. The highest of gross was ever a million. We started creating radio ads and TV ads. It's called Double My Speed. We only own a minority stake in the business. But it's a $75 million you know, business this year in terms of revenue. And what they did is we just opened up radio and TV to, so they can still compete with everyone online, but we've now got extra ammo. And so to me, that's the kind of stuff that I think people could do now. Like, I think there's too many smart people online to compete just there. I mean, I don't, want, I don't like going to knife fights without a gun. You know, so I would, you know, so I would want to come up with my point of difference. Like, what's going to make me beat you? Well, one, you want to have a great product. But if I'm going to compete with a bunch of guys, you know, online, I just thought, you know, bring in the TV or radio or direct mail or something else different, you know, would be, would be the way I'd want to go.